So today's solemnity of St. Joseph is particularly special this year as the Church just celebrated the year of St. Joseph called to mark the 150th anniversary of St. Joseph being declared patron of the Universal Church. And it is an opportunity for us to express our gratitude for and receive more deeply the protection God wants us to wants to give us through Saint Joseph, in trusting or even consecrating ourselves to his spiritual fatherhood. And the best way to mark this great feast is simply to seek to imitate Saint Joseph in his holiness, uh, profiting from his intercession to do so. And as we heard in the Gospel, the participation and preparation for Jesus' birth was the most difficult for him. At that time, Jews were betrothed one year before they got married, and when a couple were betrothed to each other one year before marriage, they were then legally united, by, but did not live together. A year later, the wedding ceremony took place, and then the couple came to live together. And during the year before marriage, after they had been betrothed, Joseph learned that Mary was pregnant, and what suffering he must have endured. And finally, the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary, asking her to be the mother of Jesus, and she said yes. And Joseph, too, like Mary, received a visit from the angel, asking him to agree for God's plan for Mary. So the angel reassured him, saying that the Holy Spirit was the father of Mary's child. Just as Mary said her yes, Joseph also did likewise when he obeyed the angel. And although Joseph was not the biological father of Jesus, he was a true father to him. When Jesus was found in the temple, as we heard in today's gospel, Mary said to him, your father and I have been looking for you. We can imagine the love and affection between Joseph and Jesus and between Joseph and Mary. We can imagine Joseph's pain and the poor circumstances at Jesus' birth. We can imagine the pain that he must have suffered when Simon told Mary that Jesus would be a sign that would be opposed and that a sword would pierce Mary's soul. We can imagine the pain Joseph suffered when he had to take Mary and Jesus to Egypt for safety as a refugees to preserve their lives. What gave him the strength to endure all the trials his vocation brought him? It was obviously his life of prayer and the love of Mary and Jesus that gave him the strength to be faithful to God's call to him. He was a just, righteous man, a man of honor, as our gospel today tells us. He had to have been a man of deep faith to fulfill his high calling. And as we celebrate this Mass on the solemnity of St. Joseph, we ask him to help us to imitate his righteousness, faith, obedience, humility, hard work, prayer, charity, family life, so that growing in holiness, we may like him, serving Christ and our families with love, and come to experience eternal joy with Joseph and Mary, to whom Joseph's holy life points us today. Amen.